Here we go guys, this is a quick video to uh, tackle a slight myth or misconception that I see popping up in the hobby and that is that the ABV of the wash doesn't affect your final product coming out of the still. That's the still's job. The still affects the ABV and the wash supplies the flavor. I disagree. Let me show you. How's it going chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse and this is Still It, the channel all about chasing the craft of home distillation and making it a legitimate hobby. All right guys, so uh, I put a video out a little while ago and uh, a bunch of these sort of comments popped up in the thread that made me think that it might be something worth addressing in the future. So uh, I've stumbled across the perfect opportunity to do so. So a little while ago, I made a video uh, with a very, very low ABV uh, wash in the pot and I distilled it and wondered what ABV I could get out off the still using three plates. Uh, that ended up, oh my word, by memory, I think it was like 80, 3%, 86%, something like that. You guys probably know better than me now. <laughs> uh, but here's the deal, guys. I just charge the exact same still, set up in exactly the same way, with roughly 20%. I didn't actually measure it exactly. But there's a big difference in what's coming off the still. This is coming off over 90%. I haven't changed anything. It's exactly the same still. I'm running it in exactly the same way. If anything, if anything, I'm actually running this a little harder and a little faster than the last one. And there is a big gap. 83% is not the same as 90% ABV. So uh, let's jump on over to the bench and we'll talk about some of the theory that goes into this. Really quickly, here is the video that I was talking about in the intro. Uh, if you want to check that out, click the, the link up top over here. Uh, you can go and watch that video first if you want, then come back and watch this. Some of you kind of called me out a little bit for uh, baiting for comments in that video, which is fair enough. Yes, you're right. Uh, to be honest, we do have the technology to figure out in advance roughly what was going to happen in that still. Uh, and I could have done so, but I didn't. Uh, and honestly, guys, I didn't. I didn't know what was going to happen. I just wanted to roll with it. Uh, conceptually, it was something that I wanted to make, and I was happy just to let the cards fall where they may. Some of you guys know exactly what I was making. Uh, you guys were onto me in the comments as well. But um, here's the thing, guys. I want to show you uh, the method that I could have used to get a rough idea of what was going to happen in those runs. And the reason I want to show you that method is because it's going to help sort of uh, clarify this misconception or this myth that floats around in the hobby a little bit. And I think that's important because any time where we as distillers misunderstand what's actually happening in our stills, although it doesn't necessarily matter for what we're making at that point in time, uh, it means that we've got a hole in our understanding. And we all do, trust me. All of us have got these holes in our understanding. It's just uh, some of us have different holes than others. So if we can all help each other out to patch those holes up, it means that you become a more complete theoretical distiller up here, which means you're better able to make good decisions to get the results that you want to get when you're running a still. Okay, so here goes. This is what I could have done uh, to figure out roughly, roughly, what was going to happen in terms of ABV in that still. Now, I want to point you over to uh, a couple of graphs. Now, it's the same graph. One's in metric and one's in that... What's that funny system that you guys use over in Yankland? <laughs> <laughs> Links for both the uh, metric and freedom units graphs down below over on the uh, Home Distiller forums is probably where I'll link it because, let's face it, that's where a lot of that stuff lives these days. So, Take a look at this graph guys, I've got it here on my phone, that's why I'm looking down, but I'll put it up on screen for you. The way we start to use this is uh, find the ABV of what's in your pot on the bottom axis first. So let's do uh, the example from the first wash I had, which is about 2.5%. That is right there. Now, go straight up, directly vertical up until you meet the green curved line. That is the temperature that that percent ABV is going to boil at. Then move directly horizontal across from it until you intersect the red line. 
and then vertically straight back down uh, until you hit the axis on the bottom. So we've now got to 15%. That is the uh, first, the pot distillation that's happening. So if we distilled uh, two and a half percent with just a straight pot still, we would get to roughly 15%. But what about the plates? Well, we just do it again. Now we start at 15% and we go, we go directly up until we hit the green line, straight across from the green line until we hit the red line, straight back down to the, uh, the axis, which tells us the ABV coming off the first plate. And we can just keep repeating that for each plate that we have in our still. Now, the reason they say this is very much an approximation is there is a whole shit ton of variables that come into play that are gonna throw this off. It is just an estimation tool. The atmospheric pressure that you have at your location, the exact makeup of your wash, because let's face it, uh, your wash isn't just water and alcohol. There's a whole lot of congeners and other chemicals in there uh, that are gonna change this around as well. A couple of things to keep in mind here, team. This only works for an instant in time. As soon as you've heated your pot up, uh, the pot starts bubbling, alcohol is evaporating out, which means there's less alcohol in the pot already, let alone when you start taking distillate off the spout. Um, what I'm saying is keep in mind that the alcohol in the pot is constantly dropping, so it's going to keep changing these equations at any one point in time. Also, when using plates, I tend to find that it is slightly lower uh, ABV than what you're going to calculate for this. And in my mind, the reason for this, or the reason that I tell myself, is that plates are not a full distillation. So you're not completely condensing the vapor and then redistilling it. It's just the interaction of vapor and liquid. Uh, so it doesn't, it, it's not quite a full distillation. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if that is correct. So if you've got good information on that, please drop that down in the comments below as well. Like I said guys, this is not an exact tool. I very, very seldomly use it. Uh, I'm using it here just to illustrate what's happening in the still to kind of get this idea across. Sorry guys, the neighbor has decided he needs to run his motorbike or cut down a tree. I don't know, apologies for the audio, but I guess we'll just have to carry on. Like I said guys, like I said, this is an approximation. But, but what I wanna show you is now let's do the same thing, but we'll start with 20% in our pot, right? So we start at 20% on the bottom axis. We go directly up until we hit the green line, then directly across until we hit the red line and back down to the, uh, the bottom axis. So already, already we're up at over 70%. So, like I said guys, this is an approximation, it is not an exact tool, but the reason I show it to you is that I want you to see the relationship between the initial ABV in the pot and the ABV that we've got coming out the other end. As you can see guys, that initial ABV makes a difference, it really does. I'm sure the more astute amongst you have probably already realized though that the more plates we add or the more distillations we run, so we do a stripping run, you know, do a triple distillation sort of style thing, the more times we distill, the less difference there is going to be. So if we just put two and a half percent into the pot and run it once, we're gonna get 15%. But if we start with 20%, uh, we're up at 70% already. That's a huge freaking gap. <laughs> but uh, running three plates, the difference is you know, much, much less. So there does come a point where yes, the still does create the ABV, not the wash, not the ABV in the wash. And that point is where you've got to diminishing returns and regardless of the two different ABVs you're gonna put in the pot, you're gonna reach azeotrope anyway. So imagine we've got a still with 40 plates. It wouldn't matter if we're putting two and a half percent or 20% into the pot to start with because we're gonna end up with the same thing. So yes, I will concede that in that situation, uh, the ABV of the wash really doesn't matter. But unless you're reaching azeotrope, the percentage in the pot makes a difference. So I need to say a huge, huge thank you to the Patreons. Thank you so much, Patreons. Uh, I can't do this stuff without you. So thank you so very, very much. If you at home are finding value in these videos and you'd like to help support the channel directly as well, thank you if you do, that would be awesome. Uh, you can go to chasethecraft.com slash support to find out all the different ways that you can help out. One of them being Patreon, if it's right for you. 
our, uh, our neighbor is getting more excited with his chainsaw. I'm pretty convinced it's a chainsaw now. <laughs> so I hope this little quick video helped clear up uh, some things for a few people at home. If you've got more to add to this, please, by all means guys, drop it in the comment section down below. I love seeing people's comments down there. Like I said, uh, this is just one of these hobbies where everyone, everyone in the hobby has a hole in knowledge somewhere. Everyone in the profession has a hole in knowledge somewhere too. Uh, but if we can all help each other out, share information, and be nice, upstanding, respectful citizens while we do it, then, you know, we all benefit from it. So, if you found this video helpful, or you just enjoyed it, please guys, give it a thumbs up. Share it around to anyone else you think uh, might benefit from it, and if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button too if you want more videos like this popping up in your feed. That helps me out so very, very much. Uh, in any case, guys, I will catch you next time. Keep on chasing the craft. See ya.